This I wanna nail sports to the bone Top vlog at the YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell What's up sports to the bone family what's up what's up A blessed night to you all Welcome back, welcome back, my peeps. So we have a couple of things to talk about. You know, we're going to be zooming in on West Indies opener, Kyle Mayers. Quite a few persons have some things to say since um, West Indies, they have actually started the, the um, you know, since they have started the experiment of having him at the top of the order. We see quite a few people talking about him. I was reading an article on Creek Nation and they have a very interesting take on it, you know, refer referencing to the fact that, um, Evan Lewis and Chris Gale, they are nowhere near the team right now. So Kyle Mears probably will be making this spot his own, especially where T20 cricket is concerned. So we're going to look at that. Plus, we're going to talk a little bit about the Commonwealth Games. We see where Elaine Thompson Hera, she has actually um, secured gold in the 100 meter. And we see where... Um, a youngster would have run the fastest time ever, I think, by an under-20 um, athlete. We're going to take a look at it in the 100 meter. I think he went 9.91. So we're going to talk about that, my viewers and subscribers. So make sure you stick with us until the end. And once again, peeps, if you have not yet subscribed, you know, man, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, my peeps. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. All right, so before we, we, we touch Kyle Mayer's story, we're going to talk a little bit about the Commonwealth Games. And as I would have indicated just now, uh, Elaine Thompson Hera, the double Olympic champion, she have actually won gold. So I am taking it from the Sportsmax website and here they say Jamaica reigning double Olympic champion Elaine Thompson Hera added the Commonwealth 100 meter title to her list of accomplishments after winning the event in, the comf in a comfortable fashion in Birmingham on Wednesday. Now, the Jamaican headed into the final as a heavy favorite and easily lived up to that billing after dominating the event to cross the line in 10.95. Right, St. Lucia's Alfred continued an excellent season after finishing second to the Jamaican in 11.1. Uh, Great Britain, Britain's uh, Nanita was third in 11.7, right, 11.07. So that is how it went, my, my, my viewers and subscribers. So they said the medal was the third for the athlete for the event. But her first individual medal, adding to the 4x100 meter relay gold and silver medal in 2014 and 2018 respectively. So good to see her um, taking this event, my viewers. So you say in the men's equivalent, Kenya's um, Fernando, Ferdinand, Ferdinando, I think his, his name is Ferdinand. Um, he claimed top billing after winning the event in 10.01. Um, so ahead of a South African sprinter, Sibini, you know, who, who, who clocked 10.13. So that is how the, the 100 for men and women went in the Commonwealth Games, my peeps. Um, let us take a look at the under 20 championship that is currently going on. And the Kingston College standout, Boaji and Kumi. He actually got a silver medal running 10.02, you know, to secure um, second. So they say Bowaji and Kumi smashed the Jamaica national junior record to secure silver, right, um, in the men's 100 meter under 20 athletics championship currently under the way in Colombia. They say on Tuesday, you know, Nkumi, who equaled the previous national junior record by running 10.11. In the semi-finals earlier, sped to a spectac spectacular 10.02 for silver behind Botswana sensation Tobago, you know, who ran 9.91 to break his own world junior record of 9.94 set at the World Championship in Eugene in July. So, so that is how it went, my peeps. South Africans Benjamin Richardson ran 10.12 for the brand. So... Um, shout out, shout out to, to, to uh, Boaji and Kumi, my viewers and subscribers, our Jamaican athlete there. You know, in, a man, is a man that very, very good sprinter, but, you know, oftentimes injuries basically get the better of him. Good to see him fit and running well. Uh, so shout out to the young sensation from Botswana running 9.91, a world junior record, my viewers and subscribers. Pretty nippy, and I don't know how many persons actually saw the race, you know, but
But the man started to celebrate from about 70, 80 meters. He turned around and was looking at Bowaji and Kumi and was doing some little gesturing and things like that. Similarly to how you know Usain Bolt would do the same sort of mannerism. So it's good to see um, the competition, that competition is alive and well and the youngsters are coming through. So that is a little bit of update on the, uh, the, 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 the under 20 world championship and the commonwealth games my viewers and subscribers so if we want to uh let us take a look now at uh kyle mayers because as i said i was looking at the creek nation earlier today and i see where they are posting that chris gale hasn't officially retired yet but he's wasting his future is in uncertainty and you know we know gale is 42 and he hasn't really played anything since the, 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 the World Cup and, and, and thing, you know. So he's, it's probably a pass him now. They say Evan Lewis' immediate future with West Indies seems to be uncertain as well after he failed to complete a fitness test that had been arranged for him by the CWI during his recent IPL stint with Lockdown Super Giants, according to Chief Selector Desmond Haynes. Right, much like Gail Lewis has not played for the West Indies since um, we bowed out of the World Cup. Um, so they just made that clear as it relates to the two guys that persons would be expecting to be opening for us. And then they went into the article. I am I'm not going to read the entire article, my peeps. I am going to recommend it to you, though, guys. You can go on the Creek Nation website and... Um, you know, I use their, their information all the time. So, you know, I'm just giving credit where credit is due and sending you guys over to them. So, Crick Nation, they have an article up about um, about about the, the, the evolution of Kyle Mears moving from, from, from bowling all around to, to, you know, to now doing his thing at the top of the order. So, it's, it's a very interesting story, my peeps. And having read that, it's pretty interesting, you know, because it's just a couple of days ago before the third T20 um we, we heard quite a few people saying that they want to take um Kyle Mears from the top and open with somebody else you know and I I personally you guys know that when it comes on to opening I like to have a traditional opener I don't believe in experimenting like that in ODI cricket and 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 thing I love to have a, a a man that is a solid opener but we're not saying that T20 cricket you don't need solid openers you know but you know T20 cricket is more of a, 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 a format where you can experiment you know and if it comes off it's good because if you are able to last out four overs in a T20 game at the top of the order that is good because if you can get your team to 45-50 within the first four or five overs and then you get out no problem of yours but when it comes on to ODI cricket now when you get your team off to 40 and then you get out within five six overs you know, that, that is basically nothing much, you know, because you would have spent some time at the crease who would want you to see, the, see um, to, to, to basically let us know how the pitch is playing and, and, and bat as long as possible as it is for uh, 50 overs. But 20 overs, you bat four out of that and, and get the, score, the team off to a good um, start during the power play. Very, very good. Very good um, in my opinion. So, um, as I said, my peeps, it's a very interesting article there that they are covering, talking about Kyle Mary. So, when you guys get the chance, you can go over to check it out. And, uh, yeah, just to remind you, my peeps, uh, two more T20 games to go against India. Hopefully, we'll be able to do a live show before the, the, the series is concluded. You know, the games are coming thick and fast and... We're pretty busy, so I haven't gotten a chance to cover to cover most of them from a live standpoint. But um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. And that is basically it for this one, my peeps. Just go and big up on yourself. And you don't know, bright and early, the following the, you, you're going to get another video. Um, you know, so don't worry on yourself, my peeps. We 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 we're going to continue putting in the work and make sure that we are keeping you guys up to date. So just go and big up on yourself, my peeps. I'm out.